Tell us about your property journey from working offshore. So from offshore, I didn't actually know I was going to quit offshore when I did. I had done my last trip without knowing it basically. I decided to walk away from offshore and pursue my property career, which was property sourcing. That meant at the time, I didn't actually think that I could do sourcing while working offshore. Knowing what I know now, I definitely could have, but um, I just went all in. I took a job in the shipyard, so I was offshore for eight years. Took a job in the shipyards, that gave me the time to really knuckle down on my property um, career and get it off the ground in the early days. How many property deals have you done to date? Hundreds. It is definitely hundreds, over two, well over 200 now, probably pushing the 250 mark, if not over. But I've not counted in a while, so you've caught me out there. <laughs> Why do you think property sourcing is the key to success in property? It's the absolute fundamentals of property, in my opinion, 100%. If you're not, if you don't have an aspect of sourcing um, and know how to source, then you're always relying on others. You're relying on properties coming on right move. You're relying on, you then need to bid against so many other people on right move. You're also relying on other sources, or you're relying on contacts to bring you deals or whatnot. It's then a lot more time consuming. Um, so for me, having that aspect of property sourcing, knowing how to source your own deals, is an absolutely invaluable skill to have. You done quite a big deal last year in Wellington Square, didn't you? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the, the commercial to residential. Uh, so that was converting an uh, old accountant's building into a four slash five bed townhouse and a one bed basement flat. And basically it came to us off market through our network. We've done a lot of due diligence on it and you know a lot of back and forth for months before actually purchasing it. Um, so yeah, we went on to purchase that, it was a great project, we decided to project manage that ourselves purely to give ourselves the experience of doing a project like that, which has stood us in good stead to now do even bigger projects. So that took a year all in, probably due to us project managing it as well, which we definitely don't regret. Um, and we made you know, a, a really handsome profit at the end with a cash buyer coming in from America and buying both units, £25,000 above the actual home reports. What's your favourite thing about the property sourcing network? Favourite thing is, without a doubt, the, the actual community aspect of it. Yeah. Just everybody there all sort of pushing in the same direction. Um, property can be lonely. Um, that's why you know it's always good to JV as well. Even if you're half in the profits, you're half in the workload, but you're also you know having a bit of fun along the way, and it's it's quite enjoyable. Um, but yeah, definitely that community aspect. Everyone pushing the same direction. Everybody helping each other. Me and Matt regularly asking the chat for different bits of help and advice as well. Um, and there's a lot of experience in, in the group, and also the the full deal sourcing and deal selling aspect of it. Myself and Matt have built a massive um, mailing list. We've got a lot of bespoke investors as well. So there's a constantly deals getting done in the group and that's what I absolutely love as well. Fantastic. Why did you decide to start your letting agency, Smart Property Lets? So in the early days of my property sourcing journey, I was quite lucky to pick up a lot of overseas investors. And what that meant was they needed the full end-to-end -end service. So that meant that if I sourced a deal, I would renovate the deal and then would pass it to a letting agency. So for me, that didn't make sense because of the volume of deals I was doing. So it was a case of, right, let's start a letting agency. So I found two business partners very much in the same um, position as myself and we formed the company Smart Property Lets. Uh, and now it's a full end-to-end -end service that we can offer. We've got the Smart Property Sourcing, Smart Home Improvements and Smart Property Lets. Um, we're currently sitting around about 75 units, so it's grown nice and organically.